welcome to analytics with nax in this video i'm going to talk about bar chart formatting that is aligned with ibcs standards as part of this visuals with nax series so i'm going to talk about what is ibcs is all about then we will use um, one example uh, for that it is like a bar chart formatting so let's jump into video immediately if you're new to this channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for notification. So what is IBCS standards? Basically, the definition is the International Business Communication, IBCS expansion. And this is the standards for practical proposals for the design of business communication published for free use under Creative Commons license. If you didn't understand the definition, basically IBCS means the proper conceptual, perceptual and semantic design of charts and tables. So to give you a um, practical uh, use case of uh, what this standard is all about. If you are learning Power BI, you follow some um, YouTube or you are um, learning from some institutes and they teach you the concepts. but what visuals you should use right there is uh, no generic rule people use different uh, charts based on their uh, knowledge but there is no different uh, standards to follow so to bridge this gap ibcs is in place where they define certain rules and if you are trying to use uh, uh, view the data in accumulation then use this any one of this chart then if you are using part to whole then use this one and if you are using referenced index like if you are using an index show this value in a line so something like that they defined certain rules and uh, if you are what you are trying to perform based on that you can follow these rules and they, it is not only the chart and the colors what you need to use and because of uh, that should be aligned with color blindness people as well so these are a lot of other things uh, they defined what charts to use what color to use and which is more relevant and which will be easy for business to understand so this is it about the ibcs and right now we're going to see one example that is bar chart like data series comparison that is current year versus previous year how we are going to uh, uh, design it in power bi so these features are not available um, in power bi till certain release like this is released in november 2023 or february i'm not sure but this is right now possible in power bi there are uh, other visuals if you want to uh, create ibc standards like zebra visuals a zebra bi visuals you can use the custom visuals till now right now there is no need for going for it but zebra visuals has a lot more than uh, um, standard uh, visuals in power bi but w if you are going for only for this you no need to go for it right now that is the thing i want to highlight this channel contains a free content that covers power bi msbi and dax and um, use this free content share this channel with your friends and colleagues let's begin so we have defined about um, what is ibcs let's see how this chart looks like earlier if you see uh, charts will look like this um, if you want to compare the bar charts other things right let's try to build uh, this one from the scratch let me put the background uh, first so that it will be easy to follow I think uh, I should put something else yeah let's let's do that now what I'm going to compare uh, I'm just using the current year versus previous year sales the sales amount is my current year and previous year is my previous year sales for that month whenever i choose a year it will show this one and i'm going to calculate the variance as well let's try to do that first we will go for this uh, clustered column chart then go for um, sales amount 
I didn't properly ordered. I uh, hope um, if you watch my previous videos, I asked you to, I mean, I demonstrated how to order or create a folders for the meshes. So this is my current year, previous year. I want to analyze uh, by the month over here. Year and month is fine. Okay. I just use only month over here okay for the month then I use this year as my filter let me use a drop down so this is how a typical um, uh, what do you call um, <coughs> your charts will look like so what IBCS says is like if you are trying to compare your previous year should behind right like overlapping bar charts should be there that will save the space as well as that will indicate that is already a previous uh, that is completed period that is the previous period so if you see here this previous year this should appear at the background and this one should appear at the front so for that just go to um, your settings and um, I, I, I purposefully put this previous year here I will show you I mean what I'm trying to say is uh, if you see this visual the first one I put is current year that is sales amount and previous year now go to your um, columns then go to the layout then overlap okay then you can see you can show like this space between the series so if you see this one this is not the correct one I am looking for right because as I said the previous year should be at the background so you need to swap this one previous year should be always at the background so now the color changed and the values also changed now columns when you click on this you can change the color of this color it should be as per IBCS it should be white and you can enable the borders enable the border so it will appear and for the sales amount it should be somewhat black so um, there is a lot of conflict like um, people don't like this IBCS standards because the color definition it's up to you but aligning with IBCS standards not completely uh, at least to an uh, extent that um, everyone can adapt this coloring can be customizable based on the organization you are looking at you can define your own uh, uh, color formatting let's say like let's do orange or um, uh, dark blue dark blue for current year and this can be a light gray also this is up to you uh, to define whether you follow the IBCS standards or not that is a different story but um, what I'm trying to convey here is colors can be customizable based on your organization needs because if you define uh, as per the IBCS they say like white and gray people don't like because people come to dashboards because of the colorful uh, presentations of uh, your reports when you go back and show them it's uh, gray and white people say can't we add some colors over here that is the first question they will ask so try to be little flexible with the, your rules but just follow certain things over here so with this note so this is that's it so basically what settings you need to do is go to columns and enable the colors and then at the all level you need to choose the layout this layout will not come at if you see when when I go in the column settings if I choose a particular column this layout will be grayed out so ensure colors should be set at the individual uh, meshes then come to all then layout overlap should be enabled then space between series should be at least 50% this is what you need to do 
this is done this is what uh, overlapping uh, formatting that is what ibcs is now there comes some um, uh, variance so i have defined the formula over here variance so just you can do it um as such and i define the settings as percentage here variance right so it is sales amount minus previous year and if you want to use a previous year this is the formula calculate sales amount say same period last year okay this is a simple formula for your measures so coming back to variance so i can add a variance here and in the data label column so go back variance that's it so once you enable this you put it as none there you go and then what you need to do uh, here is you need to choose uh, color right right now you you have got uh, current year and previous year you can see the comparison exactly over here like um, this is the previous year value and there is a slight decrease that is 0.24 so you can choose uh, that value there and then you can choose the colors for now let's choose the colors as well so i have defined the data labels right now uh, using um, value i have added variance for this i can choose the color and i have defined the formula for the color i will show you right now color there you go so when there is a decrease it will be in red and when there is a increase there is a green now i can do the comparison between so it's complete red on 2017 to 16 so only this year has that proper value i hope uh, you um, understand the concept behind uh, this let me quickly show you the color formula if variance is greater than zero then show red green and if, if it is uh, less than zero show red so these are the some of the quick uh, i mean uh, few measures that you can use to customize the uh, bar chart so that it align with your ipcs standards if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for queries and do remember that data is your asset